Welcome to our video tutorial on areas of segments and sectors. In this first problem we have a circle and we're trying to find the shaded area. And we are going to look at a total of two problems in this tutorial. Perhaps you would like to hit pause and try this first problem before we proceed together. First, we note that these two segments are both radii. So they are going to be congruent. Next, we know that we have an isosceles triangle here because it's formed by radius segments. That tells us that when we draw this segment in right here, it splits the 120 degree angle in half because it's an isosceles triangle. We get that each of those parts are 60. We also know because of the properties of the isosceles triangle that we get 90 degree angles and we get 30 degree angles. So we do in fact obtain a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the area of the sector, which is like the entire piece of pizza. Please label your work as you go. The sector is the fraction of the circle, something out of 360, times pi r squared. In this case it's 120 out of a full 360 times pi times 55 squared. Now you can use your calculator to help, but we leave the answer in exact form, which means the pi remains there. So when we go to our calculator, we type in everything but the pi. 120 divided by 360 times 55 squared. And then we also tell it that we want to go to math, convert to fraction, hit enter, and it makes it into an improper fraction for us. We do not want to see decimals. We do not want mixed numbers. We want improper fractions. So we get 3025 all over 3 times pi as the area of the sector. Now we will explore the triangle. But we're going to draw the triangle out separately and just look at the right triangle itself, which has a 30, a 60. We've got the 55 right there. So when we work out this triangle, it's a 30, 60, 90. We know that the hypotenuse is double the shorter leg. Here the hypotenuse is 55. We can put some variables in the picture. Doing this, the short leg is across from the 30, which is the y. So 55 is equal to 2y. When we divide both sides by 2, we end up having y is equal to 55 halves. Remember, no decimals and we have longer leg is equal to radical 3 times shorter leg. Plug things in, the longer leg is across from the 60. Don't go by how the picture looks, that's x. The shorter leg we just found was 55 over 2, so we get that x is 55 radical 3 all over 2. Now we turn back to finding the area of the full triangle. So the area of a triangle is a base times a height divided by 2. Be careful. In this triangle, the entire base right here that I have shaded in red is two x's. Well, two x's would be 55 radical 3. So for the base, we're going to say 55 radical 3. The height is the short leg, which is y. That's 55 over 2. Now, as we discussed in class, these twos essentially merge into a single denominator. 2 times 2, when we merge them into that denominator, is going to be a 4. We still have the radical 3 up top, and 55 times 55 is the other part of this problem. So we will do 55 times 55, that's the 3025, and that would be the area of our triangle. Notice how clearly I'm labeling my work. Please do the same. And then the area of the segment, which is the shaded part, is going to be the area of our sector minus the area of the triangle. Just think about where the shaded area is in our problem. As we look back up, it would be the full sector, the piece of pizza, minus the triangle. So when we put this in here, that's going to be the 3025 pi divided by 3 minus the area of the triangle, which was 3025 radical 3 all over 4. Please watch your final answer. Please ensure that all the labels match. And this is how the final answer would look for this particular problem. 
Next, we are going to consider this item. We know the area of the full circle is 200 pi. We want the shaded area in exact form. If you want to hit pause and try this problem out before we proceed, please do. The first thing that I'm going to do is set up the fact that pi r squared is going to equal 200 pi. One thing that we can do to both sides is divide through by pi. So we get that r squared is equal to 200. Then we take the square root on both sides and we're going to get that r is equal to the square root of 200. Now we simplify this, do not get the decimal, but it splits into square root of 100 times square root of 2, which tells us that r is 10 radical 2. Now we're going to draw in that triangle. And what we're going to do is one of two things. But here's how we will approach this problem. We are going to find the area right here, shaded in magenta, and then we will take the area in blue, that triangle, add those two areas, and we will get the result. Now first, if this is 60 degrees, then the angle looping around this way would be 300 degrees. So for the first item, which will be the area of our sector, it would be 300 out of 360 times pi times r squared. Now we will write this out 300 over 360 times pi times 10 radical 2 times 10 radical 2. Please watch how we write those things out. And I'm also going to simplify this as 300 over 360 times pi. 10 times 10 is 100. Radical 2 times radical 2 is 2. And then if we want to turn to our calculator, we can. So typing this particular problem in, we would have 300 divided by 360 times 100 times 2. And I'll hit math, convert to fraction on that. It's 500 over 3. So we get 500 pi all over 3 is the area of the sector. Now we need to come back up and contemplate the area of the triangle. So a few things that happen here. First of all, this 60 gets cut in half. We get a 30 degree angle. We have a 90 degree angle. Again, this comes from the symmetry of the isosceles triangle, and this would be a 60. Remember, the radius is 10 radical 2, which will be the hypotenuse. So when we draw that triangle out separately here, we get the 30, we get the 60, we have the 90, and then this is 10 radical 2. We can put an x and a y into play. We know, first of all, that we have the hypotenuse. So given the hypotenuse, we can solve for the shorter leg. The hypotenuse is 10 radical 2. The shorter leg is y. Keep in mind that's across from the 30 degree angle. And when we divide both sides by 2, we get that y is 5 radical 2. Then we also know that the longer leg is equal to radical 3 times the shorter leg. In this problem, the longer leg across from the 60 is x. That's going to be radical 3 times 5 radical 2. Therefore, multiply the numbers inside the square roots. x is 5 radical 6. So the area of the triangle is a base times a height divided by 2. Now let's go back up and look at the picture. So the full base is really two of these items right here, which is the y. Two y's would be 10 radical 2 for the base. The height is x, which is 5 radical 6. Now as we multiply this stuff out, it's always good to try to think about it without a calculator. 10 times 5 is 50. 50 divided by 2 is 25. Radical 2 times radical 6 is radical 12, but we need to simplify that square root. 4 is a perfect square that divides 12. Now square root of 4 is 2. 25 times 2 is 50. So we get 50 times the square root of 3 for the area of the triangle. So last but not least, we would say that the area shaded is going to be the sum of the parts. It's the area of the sector plus, be careful, the area of the triangle. The area of the sector is what we found earlier. That was the 500 pi divided by 3 plus the area of the triangle.